Hey guys, my name is Teresa and I'm a mushroom girl who lives in a van. Today I'm going to give you a tour and tell you all about how I started my mushroom van life adventures. So I am riding in a 2019 Ford Transit and her name is Vangina. I'll give you a quick little preview of what I got going on here. Obviously, it's mushroom themed, of course. Okay, so first of all, I just want to tell you guys a little bit about why I live my van and how I got here. So, during the 2020 apocalypse, it really inspired me to want to live as free as possible and to change a lot of the things in my life that wasn't working anymore. At the time, I was paying way too much in student loans, I was paying way too much for an apartment that I was barely in, I could barely afford food, I was just so stressed out by the cost of living, everything was so expensive, and I just wanted to not have to worry about money anymore. And that's when I started doing research about van life. I realized a lot of people were living out of their vehicles and saving all their money from the rent that they would have spent at their apartment. So people were living in their vans and they were able to spend a lot more time on things that they actually care about. And for the past eight years, I've been absolutely obsessed with mushrooms. From mushroom growing to the biology and ecology of to mushroom hunting, just everything about mushrooms just... I want to learn as much as I can and be a part of that community as much as I can. And that's when I realized that living in a vehicle could allow me the financial freedom to actually spend time on things that I care about, like mushroom hunting. There's a quote by a famous mycologist which he says, quit your job, just quit and dedicate your life to mushrooms. And I feel like I basically did that. I during uh, the May 2020, my lease was up and I decided to hit the road and live out of my car full time. At first, I was just living in a 2007 Nissan Versa and honestly, it was freaking awful. I cried every day. It was cramped. It, like I was living in there with my dog and it was just not a good idea. Sometimes I do things, I'm like, how am I even alive right now? Like, how do I, why would I think this is a good idea? So it was freaking awful. I didn't like it. Um, it was very uncomfortable and I decided I needed to upgrade. So that's when I started looking at Forerunners. There's a YouTuber named Wonder Hussy and I love her. She's so cool. She goes around in her Forerunner and she camps around different places and goes to explore like um, old buildings and abandoned towns and that kind of stuff. And I kind of just wanted to be like her, but with mushroom hunting instead of uh, abandoned houses. So I had just joined a certain website that allows you to sell pictures of yourself online and make money. So I started doing this and I was making about 2 k a month, which allowed me to save up my money. And I was able to put a down payment on a 2008 Forerunner. The Forerunner was a big step up. I had room for a cooler, I had my solar panels and my jackery for power, I had a nice cozy bed, it was way better than being cramped in that Nissan Versa. And so my mom had been living out of her van for like 5 years, and she was ready to settle down. We had a family member who had an old house that was abandoned and no one had been living in it for years, and he allowed us to come here and stay here rent free. Um, it doesn't have running water. But it does have electricity, it's safe, and it's a, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, so it's kind of lonely out here. But it was a nice place for us to go during the pandemic so that we could go somewhere without paying a bunch of money for rent and that kind of stuff. So this is where my base camp is, and I actually I spend the winters here, and I pretty much uh, just go mushroom hunting during mushroom hunting season. And then I come here to... Um, hang out during winter and I get my mail here and um, it's just a nice place to, it's nice to have something to come back to when I'm getting a little tired of living in the van. Last winter wasn't too bad but the winter before that we didn't have electricity for like a week and I have never been so cold in my life. It was miserable and it was like painful just being that cold all the time but this year we have a generator so if we do lose electricity it won't be as bad 
So, but we are planning to get our own land soon and hopefully improving our living situation. My mom bought a bus and she's um, building it out to into like a little tiny home. I'll give you guys a little tour of my mom's bus. It's pretty cool. She's just got the seats out right now. So she's got a lot of work to do, but she loves this kind of shit. Check it out. It'll be cool to see what she does with this. I still got the Forerunner too. It's my baby. He's so handsome. So yeah, hopefully we'll be getting our own land soon and I can start up my mushroom farm and um, start working on some growing projects. But for now in the van, my mushroom goals are to focus on documenting every fungi I find. There's an app called iNaturalist where you can upload um, any kind of data about the mushrooms you find, pictures and location, and someone can help you identify it. And you can also help other scientists uh, with any projects that they're working on. Um, they can actually contact you and um, reach out and try to get samples or whatever. And it's a good way to help with citizen science. Another one of my goals is to get DNA barcoding equipment so that I can start collecting information on the DNA of every mushroom that I find. There's a lot of fungi that haven't been discovered yet, so it would be cool to discover a new species or at least help uh, scientists with their taxonomy. I'm also interested in macro photography and I love the idea of mixing art and science together to get people excited about mycology and mushrooms in general. Okay, so back to van life. So I had been living in the Forerunner for a couple years and it was way better than the Nissan Versa, that's for sure. But it was still, I couldn't stand up in it. It was hard to have a lot of space. I barely had any room for anything and it was just cramped in there. So I decided that I needed to upgrade and I decided to get a van. I started making more money and I was able to save up money for the Ford Transit. So back in February, a few months ago, I was able to put down 33k for the van and I just wanted to try it out and not build it out first and just live in it for a couple weeks. I went to South Carolina just for a test run and didn't build it out, just built a super simple bed platform with my mom, put a bunch of stuff in it and hit the road to test it out. So when I came back from my short trip, my mom started to build it out. I helped a little bit, but she had a lot of experience building out her own van. So she had all the experience and tools. I helped a little bit here and there, but I think she did a really good job and it was way cheaper than paying someone else to do it. I did pay someone to do the solar panels in the fan because we were scared to uh, cut out a hole in the ceiling. So I had someone else do that for like 7 k or something like that. Uh, we got the batteries and everything installed, so I think it was worth it. The rest of the materials are probably less than 5k for everything that I have in here right now, the fridge and everything else. Um, so it's probably about 45k total for the whole thing, which still seems kind of crazy, like I'm paying 45k to live in a vehicle, but compared to everything else, it still seems a lot cheaper. I can sell it in a couple years and make some money back and it still seems better than renting or just paying way too much for some small little apartment. But I really allow the freedom that van life provides me. I can go anywhere I want. Whenever it's dry somewhere, I can go somewhere else to go mushroom hunting. I can do anything I want. I can save a lot of money and eventually I'll be able to um, get a little house and a little mushroom farm and start farming. But for right now, I'm really enjoying van life and all the adventures that I can go on. Alright, so it's the next day and I am going to give you a tour of the 2019 Ford Transit. So first of all, I got these levelers because when I was in Boone, North Carolina, I was staying at a Cracker Barrel there and it was so like hilly and mountainy. Like, I didn't realize like how much of a slope it would suck to like, you can't sleep at all. Like, especially because my back was hurting that day. So I figured I'd get these and even if there's a hill, it's not a big deal. 
So I got solar panels, fan. Hopefully you can see that. So the bug net is a really nice feature. Keep out all the dang mosquitoes and stuff. The bug wall. Um, yeah, it just zips right up. And you can, uh, you can zip it like this and like, roll it up and get it out of the way too. So that's nice. Here's a little overview. Isn't it so cute? Okay, so let's start. Um, so I got my fridge here. I'll be cool. I love this thing. Um, last time I had it as a freezer. You can do it as a freezer or just a fridge. So I'm doing a fridge this time. Way more room. Last time I just used the freezer for ice cream and don't need to be doing that. Um, this is just like makeup and just like knickknacks and whatnot. Um, so this is my swivel seat. I love this swivel seat. This thing was kind of expensive, but honestly, so worth it. It really opens up the whole space here and kind of makes it into like a nice living room area. So my batteries actually are right under this chair. I don't know if you can really see it, but that's where my electrical kind of system is set up. Uh, so I got the lights, they are color changing, like you can do it by the music and anytime I talk, they go off like this, it's pretty cool. It's kind of annoying though actually. And yeah, just some different colors and then I have this light. Um, oh yeah, so my mom... She built this whole thing. She's had experience building stuff before, so it's really nice to have her help. It would have been way more expensive otherwise. Um, so we got cabinets here, and this is where I put my water. My microscope is back there. Um, and then this was going to be like a sink area. But right now I'm just using it for storage. And eventually I'll use it as a sink, like if I go boondocking, but I'm not going to go anywhere too crazy on this trip. So I'm just using this for storage. I got food, I got my uh, stove, I got my, um, you know, just little shit like that. Okay, so obviously I got my hula hoop and my yoga mat. Um, Lots of room to be able to do yoga over here, so that's really nice. And then I have my Jackery. Uh, this is just extra power just in case anything happens. Uh, one time I was at a place for like over a week in the shade and I lost power, so it was nice to have that as like an extra backup. So, um, yeah, so I love this bed. It's actually hooked into the wall here, if you can see that. Um, it did break on the last trip, so that kind of sucked. Um, I had to like prop it up with my cooler, but I think we fixed it. We drilled it in a little bit more, and hopefully it won't break this time. Um, so yeah, I got clothes down here. It would be nice to get some drawers eventually, but right now this is working for me. Um, yeah, these are... You can have a little bit of everything in here. Uh, this is one of my favorite mushroom books. Mushrooms Demystified. Um, I definitely recommend that if you guys want to get into mushrooms. It's a little bit about everything. Biology, mushroom hunting. Pretty much anything you need to know. Both of my mycology classes require that. So, uh, this is my dream book. You can see I use it a lot. Um, this is a book on myces, slime molds. They're kind of like fungi, but they're a little bit different. And then this book is really cool. This is a mushroom word guide. It's like any mushroom related word that you can find. There's like a little dictionary for it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I just got towels and bear spray and shit in there. Um, what else? So I got a chair for sitting and what else? So this is my mushroom basket. 
This is where how I keep my mushrooms. I have these two containers here. And this is what I'll keep like small little mushrooms in to bring back with me. Um, I got a bunch of... I have some mushrooms in here. They're like little... Um, pretty much dead bugs in there. Cordyceps and stuff like that. Uh, this is just my tripod for my camera. I have like a little air purifier here. This was really nice when the fires were bad and it helps with allergies too so that's pretty nice. I had this magnifying glass and this actually helps to find like super small mushrooms or slime molds and the same thing goes for this. This thing is actually really cool. It's a little just a little loop for looking at small stuff. It's got a little light on it. UV light or just that bright light. So this is a good mushroom hunting tool. Um, yeah, so that's my mushroom hunting stuff. Very important. So I have a couple of outlets. Here we have one. Uh, my fridge is connected to that one. Then I have one there. This one is for shore power, whenever I need to connect to shore power. And then I have like a little USB one over there. And then I got my fan up here. This was a lifesaver in the summer. Um, yeah, it just turns on. And it really helps circulate the air. And I, it's like a game changer. I couldn't have done it in the summer without that. So that was really nice. And then this is like where my electrical system shit is. So like all that stuff. I don't even know what to call that, but that's a thing. Shit. Um, um, so yeah, it's not exactly perfect. We still got like little things like this. So the whole thing is insulated with this wool this is actually like sheep wool it was way more expensive and honestly i don't think it was worth it but we already did it so fuck it the whole thing is uh insulated with sheep wool so and then i had like sound deadening stuff that we put in it too so it keeps it a little bit uh temperature a little bit more uh mild in here so that's kind of nice but so let's check out the garage. So we left this little extra space so I could keep my bike in here. Um, I like that I can just put it in here. I don't have to do anything crazy. I don't have to take off the wheels or anything. This is um, uh, for shore power. So I can connect to power and not have to use my solar panels or anything. Um, helmets. Um, yeah, so I got these uh, these covers are great. They're like magnetic and they keep the sun out and they keep this a little bit insulated too. So that's pretty nice. Look how cute it is. I can't wait to, wait to ride my bike. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get up here. I have to like grab this and like ugh, get up in it. These are my driving shoes because I can't reach the pedals. So they're like super thick. Short people problems, man. Uh, this is my gym bag. And... So, front seat. Just regular front seat stuff. Um, I keep little stuff over here. Got some CDs. I'm obsessed with Sierra Farrell. I saw her in concert. This is my friend's band. Or my friend. Uh... I used to be roommates with him. He's awesome. And this girl opened for Sierra Farrell. She's fucking awesome. Dory Freeman. Check her out. And then I got my little driving buddy. My little tardigrade. Mr. Tardy. He's so cute. Tardigrades are like little microorganisms that can survive space. And scientists are doing some cool research with them. So I love tardigrades. They're water bears. And they're freaking adorable. Uh, so I got a picture of Mr. Doggy. Keep me company. Gotta sage shit out, you know. Um, so 
Sometimes I'll like dry mushrooms up here. You can see this crusty ass morel that I found in the spring dried up there. Um, sometimes I would like dry them up there and like send them in for a DNA sequencing. It kind of works sometimes, but sometimes they just get dry and then they get moldy later. So it's not perfect, but. So I got these really nifty like little window covers. This insulates stuff and keeps all the light out and I can have some privacy and do some weird stuff in here if I want to. So put these over here. And they kind of just like stay in there pretty easily. Freaking awesome. This one fits exactly for the Ford Transit, so all you gotta do is and then the these like help keep it up. So yeah, now it's way darker in here. I have privacy and yeah. And Hmm, what else? Oh yeah, oh my goodness. So, this is an emergency situation, folks. Listen to this. All right, so this is kind of embarrassing, but check this out. If there's an emergency in the middle of the night or something, boom, you put like a little trash bag underneath of it. You know what I mean? This is like super emergency, like 3 a.m., six beers in, Taco Bell type of situation. Like, I want to avoid this situation as much as possible, but you never know what's gonna happen. So, yeah, that's for emergencies. But usually, I just go to like Cracker Barrel in the morning, or I'll go to the gym, or the library has great bathrooms. So, I try to avoid that as much as possible, or just go in the woods or something. If I'm out in the middle of nowhere, but um, yeah, I showed you guys my pee bottle at one point, but I don't think I brought it in right now. But I pretty much just have a funnel and a pee in a bottle in the middle of the night because I'm super classy like that, babe. So, yeah, I think that's about it. It's my little mushroom paradise, and I am about to go on adventures. I'm going to a mushroom festival, so that'll be super fun. And yeah, so love you. Bye.